aviation technology students are learning how to fly and operate unmanned aerial vehicles, better known as drones. Video journalist Nate Shute shows us what's required to keep the technology in flight. We're playing with essentially what are small toys in here, but uh, that doesn't mean that that's what it's limited to. Struggled with how to start this class for a long time. I've been operating UAVs for about 10 years. I wanted to introduce that to the students. I wanted to share with them what I was doing. I couldn't find a way to do it safely and legally. And what happened was the technology developed to the point where I could fly indoors and replicate what was happening outdoors very accurately. This is model aircraft, but the same principles that apply to full-scale aircraft a lot of times will carry over to model aircraft. The actual difficulty of this is in the details of, and of the flight autonomously and also the t attention to detail. Uh, the big difference is when you take the step to autonomous flight, which is automatic autopilot guided flight. It uses a GPS to locate its position on the earth, it uses a stabilization system to actually fly the airplane. So we start out with uh, simulators where they, uh, much, much like a model airplane simulator, we progress to uh, actual manual flight of quad rotors and helicopters. And then at that point, we introduce uh, video and still photos and what, a concept that we call FPV, which is first person viewer flight. The thing that you've seen us flying around here today was that AR drone, uh, which uses an iPad, which is kind of strange, honestly, from somebody who's used to using a, a more manual transmitter. I was using the camera, which is giving me live feed at the time, uh, it's looking down at that, and basically I can control it through both tilting and directions, and then there's some finger inputs you can use to get it to rotate axially around. In 2015, next year, the FAA is going to issue guidelines for civilian operations of unmanned aircraft for commercial purposes. And we need to be in that position to have, uh, have students that understand from all the way from simulators all the way to working with autopilots and ground stations and, and uh, actually implementing this technology. We'll become a more widespread thing because so many people find flight fascinating. I mean, honestly, people have always been interested in flight.